All right, guys, I know you probably can't see outside, but it is an absolute winter wonderland, and it's about five degrees. It is nice and toasty here in the shop with Lieutenant Dan. We're at like 65 in here, bud. <sighs> it's better than nine. <laughs> So here's what I think we're gonna to try to tackle today. I think before we get the cab painted or do any more with the cab at all, I think we're gonna go ahead and get this frame uh, blacked out, get it painted. That'll allow us to get the lift axle back on, kind of start piecing her back together and be ready to accept the bed. Uh, to do that, we, we steam cleaned it off after the test drive. That got the majority of it, but we still got just some nooks and crannies. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, some nooks and crannies we need to get. I think the plan is we're gonna grab a couple of wire wheels, go around, get what we can. I have a little siphon feed sand blaster that we may use to get a few hard to reach spots, but uh, I'm gonna pull the batteries out of it, pull a few other random bracketries off of it. You've already got a head start on, uh, <clears throat> you've already got, <clears throat> there, got a frog in my throat. <laughs> you've already got a head start on uh, the uh, wire wheel in here a little bit while I was plowing snow this morning. Playing. Playing. Yeah, if you guys watch my plow and snow video, you'll know my thoughts on plow and snow if I was not playing. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, yeah. Officer Hoover left his devil. Poor devil, how he's got dirt on him. There we go. No, you burned him. You burnt devil out. So that'd be number five fire. <laughs> you singed devil out. Oh man, Officer Hoover is not gonna be happy with you. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I'll leave you there for later and try not to paint you black. But uh, anyways, whew, I'm just glad I'm inside. I mean, like this is a miserable job, but it's still better than anything yeah, outside. a lot better than being outside. Anything better than outside, so let's do it. All right, Aaron's tied in with that back there. I'm gonna pop these batteries out of here. Get this done, get these set off to the side. Whoop, and I'll hop in and help him. Hopefully you guys can hear me, that's some nasty stuff coming off that thing. dust that was in there that was actually left over from uh sand blasting it was not from the batteries it was just a bunch of crud from the sand blasting but this is gonna be nice no weapon of choice and going around and getting all the big spots i'm gonna go down there and try to hit all the little small spots and uh see how much this thing is covered All right, we are making pretty good progress and that wire wheel is working absolutely awesome in the big wide open areas. But we're having a, a little bit on the struggle bus, getting some of the nooks and crannies. It's probably not that big a deal, but I want to give Lieutenant Dan the best chance to make it in there 30 years. How about you? Oh, I, I lost my hat, hold on. There we go. Oh yeah. I'm all, I'm all discombobulated. Well, how many pairs of sunglasses do, holy cow. <laughs> Let's try this. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. So. Anyways, I, I, I really don't want to do this, um, but I think we're going to try to do a little bit of sandblasting. We're not trying to remove the paint. We're just trying to get it scuffed up to where it'll grab the new paint and hold it for a long time. I bought this little siphon gun and uh, 
we gave it a shot it was uh less than impressive to say the least so we got uh we went to the cadillac the harbor freight the harbor freight monster here i think what we're gonna do is try to meter our sand really low uh just use mostly air try to scuff up a few spots we can't reach with the wire wheels and other methods and see what happens it's probably gonna make a mess in the shop and i think it just kind of is what it is i think we don't i think we just gotta give her give her a try and see what happens we have captain come in and clean up after we're done yeah that's a great idea <laughs> right. and it may not work we may be back to wire wheels but we're gonna try it let's do it Well guys, I believe that's going to be the ticket. That's getting all the uh, hard to reach spots, doing what we needed to do, and ensuring we end up with a good paint job on this thing. We're all said and done. We're making a mess in the shop, but honestly, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's getting it a lot better than we can do by hand. That's for sure, and that's the main thing. But uh, that was a test run experiment. Unfortunately, we're out of sand. So we're gonna have to run to town, grab some lunch, grab some sand, and uh, come back and uh, punish ourselves some more. After a quick, delicious trip to town, go back with some more sand. Actually, it's not sand, it's uh, coal. Coal. We got out. Actually, it's coal, coal slag. So you're gonna tell everybody your experience with the guy in line at uh, Tractor Supply? That you could have helped me out with? <laughs> I thought we were taking it home to use <laughs> the stove. Well, first he thought we were heating the shop with it because it was coal, we were burning it. And then you told me we we're working on an old truck. So then he thought we were building a fire to blacksmith something. <laughs> and at this point, Aaron just agrees with him. <laughs> and I'm, well, I'm acting like I don't know him. I'm just. <laughs> yeah, you left me hanging. I did. I did maybe think you hanging. But I told him. We... All right. Sorry, my battery died. But uh, anyways, <laughs> for simplicity of the conversation, Aaron just agreed with the guy that we were blacksmithing something, which I guess technically we kind of are. Well, I told him we were using a torch to do a little blacksmithing. <laughs> From my point of view, it was a hilarious conversation. Yeah, you weren't helping I, me at all. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, all right, we're gonna get this thing topped off and uh, we'll go at her again. You're doing good. Yep, keep up good work, cameraman. Doing my job. <laughs> I judge that just right. I think somewhere in the owner's manual it says, do not overfill. <laughs> uh. Yeah, she's full. Oh man, drop the lid. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna get suited back up and be miserable and make a mess and hopefully make a truck clean. All right, here we go. I'm excited, can you tell? How proud of you. <laughs> Welcome to my world. I don't like your world.
Well guys, there she is. Kind of having second thoughts right now, like it would have been a good idea to have the other guy sandblast this. The man behind the scenes talked me out of it. What I do? I said, I told you it would have been a good idea to have the other guy sandblast, and you're like, oh no, we can do it in the shop, no big deal. Yeah, well done to it. No. <laughs> Honestly, this truck's turned out better than I thought it was going to, so we kind of went the extra step. Like I said, it's got good paint on it. We just were trying to scuff it up so it'll accept the new paint. I think we've accomplished that. But now we got one massive mess we need to clean up, so. Uh, we got like cleaning up, too. Let's let the cleanup begin. Well, man, behind the scenes, now that our mess is all cleaned up, the question is, was it worth it? Yes, very worth it. We should have done it a little bit sooner. We probably would have saved the grinder. <laughs> yeah, we missed that on video. He totally destroyed a grinder when he hit a bolt a while ago, but uh, it looks pretty good, man. I don't see anything major we missed. Uh-uh. There may be a few little spots here as we uh, tidy up, we'll hit, but uh, I'm pretty pleased with the way that went. I'm very pleased with it. I mean, I didn't have to do much, so. Yeah, you weren't born pelted in the face by sand. I felt it two hours straight. That might have been. They may see in time lapse. You that know, might have been on purpose. Oh, that I could believe. <laughs> <laughs> We're even for the fires. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, it's actually a new day in the shop. We got a little sidetracked last night. Do you even remember when we left off of this video? I think we got done sandblasting. We cleaned up the shop and we blew off the frame. Yep. So, how did we get sidetracked? We drug the uh, lovely pot paint gun. I think it's a two and a half gallon gun. I bought this thing off eBay, Cheapo Depot, years ago. It don't get used that much. Sitting on the shelf, had some high quality China hoses on them that decided they needed to disintegrate. So uh, me and Aaron actually got creative and uh, we retrofitted some torch hoses on there. Took a little bit of rigging, but it seems to work fine. <laughs> well, in theory. So we, uh, I do know this much. It'll spray water with the best of them. <laughs> 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 we, it makes one hell of a squirt gun. Yeah. We just need to uh, make sure it works paint. But I think we got that going. Um, in the meantime, Aaron got the fuel tank up here. We actually just wire wheeled it off. We actually got the lift axle. We're gonna throw some paint on it. Uh, got it all wire wheeled off and uh, Fun side note, apparently whenever this thing was stored, these airbags were full of water. So whenever you take this and raise it up, these hoses squirt you with cold water right in the face. It's so kind of it. We about got that all mess dried up. So that was a fun little adventure. But we got the truck all blown off, all cleaned up. I think it's time to start throwing some paint at this thing. Well, so I've been waiting. I wanted to start last night. Somebody had a meeting. Yeah, somebody had to go bowl. I bowled good two and a half games. We're not going to talk about the third game. <laughs> I bowled a 289, a 260 something, and like a 172. I was getting tired. <laughs> I wore out. So um, we are actually going to use Van Sickle paint. It's made in Lincoln, Nebraska. It's uh, industrial enamel. It's basically um, implement paint. It comes from our local farm store. I've used it before, and honestly, I've had better luck with this stuff than some of the high dollar stuff. We are gonna put a little bit of hardener in it, which makes it a lot more dangerous, but also a lot harder. 
So that'll be fun. But uh, I think it's time. I'm the ready. clock has struck zero. So I'm, I, I get to do the filming this time, right? Man, oh man. I, I got stuck blasting. Yeah. Now I'm going to get stuck painting. Yeah. I'm going to be a whole different color by the time this day's over. I don't have, I got the respirator, I got safety glasses, we got ventilation, we got all that good stuff. But I don't have a full face shield. And I got a feeling whenever we're laying underneath there. Oh boy, let's just do it. I'm, I just, the more I think about it, the more I don't want to do it. So let's just do it, get it over. All right. <laughs> I remember what uh, my face looked like last week yeah. we done it. Yeah, yeah, I liked, I like your face is better than me. All right, step one, mix paint. I don't think I've ever painted a day in my life without wearing half of what I was trying to paint. Oh yeah. While I was working on the Mac, when you were balling, hey. taking off, going balling and all that news, good stuff. News flash, nobody cares about you. It's all. Yeah, bad. oh shh. Wish we had some YouTube magic right now to just like, bam, install that on the truck. No, I don't want YouTube magic. I want you to get dirty for a change. You're not very nice to me. <laughs> yeah, I got home. I don't know, I think I thought I sent you a picture and the only thing that was wide on me was right here. No, no, I remember. I think I seen you leaving and I was laughing, wondering where you were going. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was mean, but. Yeah. I also thought it was funny. All right, there's one gallon of paint. According to one gallon of paint, we're supposed to mix one half pint of hardener, which would be this contraption. It's like a mad scientist. Yeah, I mean, kaboom. Nope, we just get cool loop. <laughs> All right, stir, stir, stir. We may have to thin that out a little bit. I don't know. We're gonna try it. Eh, it ain't as thick as I thought. It might. We might get lucky. You think Jenna let her Caesar uh, beaters? Or whatever you call them oh, things. Mixer. Make cakes, yeah, the mixer. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yep. Oh. <laughs> I'll stop here. Clean it off and get on that gasket. See what happens. All right, sorry guys, I left you behind for a second. We did it, actually I started off on the sign board over there and we started spraying the backside of this tank just to kind of see where we were at. I don't know if you guys can see up here on top. I know it's hard for this to show up on camera, but it just wasn't quite atomizing the way it should. It was coming out nice and thick, but it wasn't laying down flat. So uh, we're gonna put about, uh, what, four and a half, five ounces of uh, thinner in there. And uh, that paint's kind of thick. It's kind of cold, so uh, we're gonna thin it out here a little bit, and hopefully that'll that'll make her spray a little nicer. We'll find the we'll find the right recipe here. Stick with us. All right, guys, we got her readjusted. Let's uh, try her again. Get her fan a little tight. We'll open that up a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. That looks mighty fine. That is nice. That's not bad in there.
I really wish I had a pit or a truck lift. I don't have either. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to start off by getting down underneath there and getting everything I can from the bottom. Kind of work my way out. So the last thing we'll actually paint is the frame rail. It sounds visible, but somebody's got a dip, and uh, well, he's not qualified. Oh, I'm overqualified to do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Well guys, there it is. That's one gallon of paint. We got the back half. Man, that uh, that covered pretty well. Looks really good, actually. So, uh, I think we're going to let the shop air out a little bit. Let that kind of sit. Make sure we don't have any unexpected problems. Mix another gallon up and uh, do the front half. It's looking good. Did you uh, remember our very special recipe there, you mad scientist? Yes, I did. How did, how did you not, look at this. You're wearing a respirator. You weren't I know painting, it. And you got black all That's over your nose. What you do? <laughs> nothing to do with that. That's talent right there. Man, that torch hose is working awesome. Like it's light, it's flexible. Got some extra length. That's the best accidental idea I've had in days. <laughs> 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 All right, we've had. Okay, 
It was your idea, but I made it work. Yeah, you, you made it work. You used the same hands that were on it. But no, I had to go shopping at well, the thrift store. That's because you broke it. I didn't break it. China broke it. China <laughs> broke it when they built it. <laughs> Remember how I told you not to over tighten things? I, it was still leaking. Like I had the, to do something. Uh, the torch gauge. I said, don't oh, over tighten that. <clears throat> Next thing I know, we've got leaks everywhere. <laughs> He's going all the way. But anyways, go look at that truck. You're going, you're going old school, man. You're going all the way back to King Clay Demo Building. But now the shop's cleaned out a little bit, or fumed out a little bit. Actually, the exhaust fan up there. We put a uh, new pulley, a new belt on it, and uh, she's working good now. But man, we uh, this thing, we got a few. I'm not going to pretend like we don't. Like right there on that bolt head, we got a few little. I wouldn't even call them runs. They're just some sags in the paint. But for the most part, she's on there heavy. She's on there thick. She looks good. It is what it is, it's a truck frame, it's not the body. But everything, you've got good coverage on everything. Pretty darn tickled with the way that is turning out. So we're gonna go, we're gonna basically got this truck divided in half. I'm gonna go down underneath, try to get everything down there as I can, and then uh, work our way out here, get the truck frame done. If I get a little bit on this cab, I'm not really that concerned about it. We got a sand and bond on do a bunch of work on it. It's kind of what we're doing this first. So it'll be a lot easier to uh, tape off all the frame at a later date when we paint the cab. So you ready to roll? I'm ready. All right. It's paint time. Well guys, there she is. She is all black and she is looking good. Aaron's got a little aerosol can. He's kind of going around touching up some of the real small spots that uh, are easier to get like that. But uh, got the lift axle painted as well. It, uh, it looks pretty sharp. So uh, I think we're going to take lunch. Give this about an hour to cure up, set up a little bit. I think we're going to come back and put a second coat on everything and make sure we're good to go. So. Yeah, man, we're liking it. Looking good. Oh, yeah. What is that? Oh, that was a mouse nest that was in your cardboard. Huh. Yeah. I didn't have time to get far away yet. All right, you ready for lunch? I think I'm ready. Let's do it. 
Well, we just got back from lunch and uh, kind of looking her over. She is definitely ready for the second coat. I think I even passed the man behind the scenes paint inspection. You did. Pretty impressive. <laughs> did you hear? I'm not sure the audio picked up. Let me get closer. <laughs> Let's get that nine out. That <laughs> nine picks everything up. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're back on the GoPro eight and have been for a while. Gave up on the nine. So could you repeat that, please? Yeah, pretty impressive. I mean, I never thought that I'd be scoring you at an eight and a half on paint, and I figured it'd be more down. Could below you imagine the nine. if I actually tried where I'd be? <sighs> you may you get up to about a nine. That's all I want to be. Nine. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Ask your viewers, I'm a 10. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're a 10 if we start at 100. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to fire up the old, uh, the old paint pistol again and uh, go at her one more time. I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking two coats is probably going to be pretty good on this. Yep. I'm not going to fool anybody. We got, uh, we got a couple random runs and sags, but I mean for... What we painted and how we were laying it on there, I'm not going to complain. We got a lot of nooks and crannies and covered a lot of ground. This is, uh, we're not painting a big panel or a door here. We're painting a bunch of random stuff. So we're going to take that for the win. All right, you ready? Look at that beauty. Boy, you didn't do too bad, did you? Not too bad for an amateur, eh? Uh, no. I don't know why I'm talking like a Canadian. I'm excited. That's what I do when I get excited. Man, everything we do to this truck, it just like keeps... I told Aaron the frame looks so good. I almost said, let's pull the engine and paint it dirt perfect green, but then I realized that we gotta stop somewhere. <laughs> we just gotta stop somewhere. But man, I, I'm not going to sit here and act like it's not flawless and there's not a run or a spot missed somewhere. But for all for three gallons of paint on that, all the nooks and crannies, we've kind of eyeballed it a few times. Yeah. For a frame job, it's a Turned darn out. good job. We didn't paint the drive shaft because Aaron's still convinced he's going to paint it green. Notice I said he said he's going to paint it green because yep. I'm not going to paint it green. So if this thing has green drive shafts in it, you'll know. Uh, you know mine, could you keep your shirt off? The oh, did I touch it? Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Look at that. Can you guys see that finish on there? Oh, yes. It's nice. It's <laughs> nice. So, but uh, well, anyways, guys, we're going to let the shop air out. we got to actually take an impromptu trip to Kansas City, Missouri for uh, some dealings with another business. Long story, blah, blah, blah. But uh, I think we're going to let this sit for a day or two, cure out. Timing's pretty good on that. I think our next, uh, the next things we're gonna tackle is we're probably gonna put the lift axle back on just to free up some room in the shop. And I think we're gonna focus on getting the cab painted. If we get the cab painted, we can get the stacks on it. And that way, whenever the bed shows up in a little bit, we can get the bed on it. And then whenever we get time, we'll work on the fenders and the hoods and the rest of the, rest of the goodies. But uh, man, progress, progress, progress. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting every video that goes by or every day that goes by we work on this and I just get more and more and more excited. So anyways, I think we're gonna have to wrap this one up. It's looking good, bud. Till next time. High five painting, buddy. So all right guys, hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned. Hopefully we'll be spraying some green next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.